I'm in sound and I saw Mortal Kombat 1T21. It was directed by Simon McCoy. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This is sponsored by my link tree. You can learn more about that at the end of the review. First of all, I should say that I watched the 2020 version of Mortal Kombat first. The review for the 1995 version is coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I entered watching this movie with basically no exposure to the other Mortal Kombat, so I really wanted to see if this movie was uh, hated, like if I hated this movie, like it was justified to be hated, or if it's just people not liking that this isn't exactly the 1995 version. So I'm gonna go over that in this review. Let's go over some plot details first. So the movie starts with uh, what seems to be Hanzo is a guy in this cool little village. He is Scorpion. He will be Scorpion later on. But his name is Hanzo. And what's interesting is a bunch of dudes attack, including like, I think it's Sub-Zero at this point. Yeah, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero is Hanzo's family, which is devastating. And then Hanzo and Sub-Zero have a big old fight, but Hanzo's gone. But Raiden, electric dude, is alive. He's Lord. He's Lord Raiden. Why would he not be alive? He's like, all right, all right, guy, you're you're coming up the grave. Get out of here. Now you're alive or some shit like that. You know what's interesting about this movie? So the start of it is pretty fine, I guess. Uh, my first ex exposure to this movie within like the first five minutes usually like within the first five minutes I could tell if I like love a movie or not and this one I wasn't like loving uh, so I'm just gonna watch the rest of the movie and see if the plot falls apart or something or if the plot is if it's remarkably good so now it's time to look upon not Hanzo but a guy who has the same symbol as Hanzo and he's kind of like foreign to this whole Mortal Kombat business and when he's talked about I guess when he's talked to about the tournament which by the way I kind of have an issue with the movie only mentioning like tournament like three times the entire movie because like I missed that detail of the tournament when I first watched this movie. And then I had to go back and be like, oh, what did they say there? And then, yeah, they, they said it. But there's a lot of moments in this movie where I felt there was a lot of pacing issues when it comes to giving away information. Like, for example, I said the tournament thing. And I was kind of like in the dark because like some details could be missed. I'm certainly missing my first details, meaning I had to rewind. But imagine if you're in a movie theater and he missed those details. Those details were really quick. And for that reason, that's why I think people don't really like the movie. It's because the details were too quick personally. I think... If, if they mentioned it more, the the stakes, if there were stakes in this movie, it could have been like a better movie, in my opinion. What's interesting is that I noticed that the stakes were pretty annoying. Like, I felt like while I was watching this movie, there's a freaking bug there, I hate bugs. While I was watching this movie, like, there's some parts where I was like, Okay, this is happening. For what reason? Okay. Also, when this uh, guy, what's his freaking name? Ma'am, when I was watching this, when I was watching this, I was really, like, dedicated to learning all of their names and trying to remember all of their names and saying it multiple times while watching the movie. But there's just too many characters. Liu Kang. I think his name Liu. That guy. 
Uh, I think I called him Fire Guy a couple of times, but there's Liu. Seems to be the main guy. He's like, all right, there's a Mortal Kombat. Well, dang, that sucks. Uh, well, I gotta do some training. And oh wow, more fights! Wow, more fights, man. I watched this movie, rewinded it a lot actually. For me. The tell of a mediocre movie is when, while I'm watching the movie, I'm like, okay, I guess, fine, works out, sure, sure. The only questions that I'm really asking is like, okay, please tell me more, um, but like, the complaints that I have about this movie, at this point in the movie, is like... This guy, you're just kind of inserting Liu King? Kang? Liu Kang? What the fuck is his last name? L Liu. I'm just gonna keep calling him Liu. Uh, you're gonna insert him into Mortal Kombat, which, by the way, very hilarious line. Mortal Kombat? Yes, Mortal Kombat. And this is the only time that this is mentioned in this movie. That line, Mortal Kombat. And it's like... Bro. You're just gonna say it once? Say it multiple times. Like, while watching this movie, I don't care about the tournament because it's not really mentioned a lot. Honestly. But when the tournament starts, then we see a bunch of fighting. I'm like, cool. Also, there's a lot of fatalities. A lot, a lot of fatalities. Like, I think... If... This movie was more fatalities, it'd be a little bit cooler, but if it was less, it would also be cooler, and it's kind of like in the middle where you see a guy get sawed in half, and I'm like, holy god dang, that is vicious, that is some wild stuff happening. And then like, oh boy, trying to remember this movie is kind of hard, because it's like, a lot of it washes together, like, sign of a... Mediocre movie is if you enjoyed it while watching, but it all washes together, so you can't remember anything specific from it. So, oh man, the the movie is like, hey, all right, we're we're done, we're done with this fighting. Let's continue fighting. All right, we're done with this tournament. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh, you defeated him. You defeated. Sub Zero. Sub Zero's fight scenes with Sub Zero and like everyone else is pretty cool. I liked those fight scenes. There was a particular fight scene that I was kind of got angry at. That's because I don't know any science. I don't know how strong uh, ice is. But Sub Zero was fighting with an ice sword with uh, with somebody who's fighting with a metal sword, and I'm just like, why? Isn't gonna break? Do you know, have you ever heard of an icicle before? I mean, this is essentially a really thick icicle, but it's ice. It's it's gonna shatter. What? Why? Okay, confusion. Lots of confusion on my end. So there is there is a lot of that. I also found this movie at the very end, like, oh wow, we did it, we did it, we defeated Sub Zero. Woo, we won the tournament. Woo, but like. It's not mentioned in the tournament that much, and this isn't like a tournament arena. Also, I thought the movie looked cool. I mean, it looked cool. It reminded me of the Mortal Kombat remake game. Also, <laughs> it's how late in the video for me to mention my previous exposure to Mortal Kombat. But like, my previous exposure is that like, I played a little bit of the arcade consoles whenever I saw them, which is not often, so I haven't played that much of that, but I've played a tiny bit of the Mortal Kombat, the remake, from like, I don't know what year it was, 2018 maybe, I think? Maybe. It was definitely while I was, I was not at college at that time, it was before that time. So, yeah, I don't know 
what year it was, but it was new. It was a nuke Mortal Kombat. And the interior of all these places in the movie looked like that game, which was interesting. So, watching this game... <laughs> watching this movie made me think, oh, it must be a game that they're promoting. Hard to keep straight of what is happening, but this movie, it feels a movie you're just supposed to turn off your brain and watch all of them do the fatalities. And this, honestly, movie is really annoying. It's annoying that I can't remember more. Because I, I, it, it took me like three hours to watch a one and a half hour movie, which is annoying. And I got nothing terrible. Terrible movie. So I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this 2021 remake. The characters are fine, but they're kind of like dull. I felt like this movie was like no creativity when it came to like the structure of the scripts. It just felt like it was following like some sort of guide on how to write scenes with lots of exposition. There's a lot of exposition. Um, I shouldn't mark down the movie for having so much exposition, but I also don't really enjoy how little fight scenes there were and how much like what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Uh, how much just talkity talk stuff that was happening, so other than that, the colors being um, fine, I guess. It was. I would describe this as a fine and fun movie, but like, well, it's not so much fun as it's just fine. I gotta give this movie like a solid six out of ten. If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. You can also like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everyone. You know, the ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer. So if I haven't reviewed on a channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. Like to request a movie in the comments below. You can do that. You can fast track a movie review. Patreon.com slash ASC presents for $20 a month for one movie review per one month. $3 a month. How to draw a Pokemon tutorials. Or at Patreon.com slash ASC presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of all these daily movie reviews, you can go to this link tree to find the way that you can help support the daily grindiness of all these daily movie reviews. Woohoo! So go there. And until next time, I'm in Salsa. I'll see you later to my Sakutan's Big Bits.